name's Natasha and I'm back inside my home and getting ready to tell you a story. Are you getting ready to hear one? Oh, good. First, let's have a hello. Hello, everyone. Did you sing? Hello, Natasha. Hello, everyone. Brilliant. We're going to get ready for our story by planting ourselves in the earth. Is that okay? So you're not going to be you anymore. You're going to turn into a teeny tiny seed. Take your seed, plant it in the earth, cover it, water it, then wait a bit till you go so teeny. You're right on the ground, curled up into a teeny tiny ball. And I'm going to play some music with my violin. And you're going to hear my music going up and up and up and up and up and up and up. And guess what you're going to grow into? Just like that acorn, you are going to grow into a tree. And when we get to the top, you're going to be a really big tree. Trees take ages to grow, don't they? Years. Years and years and years and years and years and years. And years. But we're going to do it fast. And as you're growing, you can think about the kind of tree you'd like to be. Are you going to be a fruit tree? Covered in blossoms right now? Or will you be a magnolia tree? with those gorgeous pink and purple flowers that are just coming out now? Or will you be a pine tree? That's the kind of tree we're going to have in the story later. Like the ones you get at Christmas time. You could choose. Ready? Oh, I better water the seeds, don't you think? I got this handy Rain stick. <laughs> what will happen when I turn it over? I'm watering the seeds. Rainwater in the sea, lasting a long time. That should be enough. Oh, there's more! My rain stick's really long, isn't it? Okay. And then I'm going to look for my. Oh! A bit more rain. Last drop. I can find to make a really bright sunny sound. How would this one be? The sun shining on the sea. Have you got any sounds you could use? tell a story later. Now, it's time for you to grow. Tiny seeds. They're starting to get warm in the earth. Here comes a shoot. 
Wow, look at those trees! Amazing! We're going to use those trees in our story. Remember the song that we sang last time when I saw you in the garden? You can sing it with me now. upon a time in a big forest there was a small cottage and in that small cottage there lived an old couple an old man who was a woodcutter and an old woman yes yes but he 
you going to tell the bit about the annoying needles? Yes, I am. Sorry. In front of the cottage, there was a big old pine tree. Can you show it to me? A pine tree is the kind of tree you get at Christmas time. Instead of having leaves, it has needles. Sharp, green and light. And in the summertime, well in the autumn, you get pine cones growing from the pine tree. This pine tree had been there for longer than anyone could remember. And the old woman didn't like it. Because I get fed up with sweeping all those pine needles when they drop. <sighs> oh, where's my broom? A ch 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 and a ch 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 and a ch and a ch and a ch ch ch. Are you helping me? Thank you very much. Thank you. Here's a broom. We do it like this. We do a ch 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 and the other way a ch 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 and this way again. A chip and a chip and a chip, chip, chip. Thank you. A chip, chip, chip and a chip, chip, chip. With a chip and a chip and a chip, chip, chip. I've been sweeping, sweeping all day long. I'm tired of singing this sweeping song. I wish I had a fancy life with cake on my plate. Fancy knife, my broom would grow wings and I would fly away. But still, these needles keep falling down. If I had an axe, I would chop that tree down. Axe, dip. I know somebody who does have an axe, said the woodcutter's wife. Husband? Husband? Have you seen my husband? Oh, yes, he's, he's off in the forest somewhere chopping trees. Well, I'll just have to wait for him. And that's what she did. She sat down all day, holding the broom, waiting for her husband. And when he got back from the forest, tired and hungry, she said, Husband! Husband, I've had a wonderful thing, a wonderful idea. Idea, said the husband. Dangerous things, ideas. Listen, the tree, it's dropping its needles, it's making a terrible mess. Take your axe and chop it down. <laughs> How do you know that for an idea? Chop down the tree. But it's a beautiful tree, said the husband. Just because I'm a woodcutter, I don't just chop down any tree. You have to choose the, the ones that have diseases, so they don't give a disease to the next door trees. You have to chop down the branches that might fall on somebody and hurt them. Anyway, if you don't chop it down, there won't be any supper for you because I'll eat it all. Now, if there's one thing the woodcutter liked, it was a good supper. So, with a heavy heart, he went up to the tree and picked up his axe. Oh, it's a big old tree, this one. It'll take time swing over his shoulder like this. Yeah! But as he did, a strange shiver came over the air. Can you be a tree? Can you shiver your branches?
It's not windy, thought the woodcutter. What's going on? The leaves seem to be whispering something. Don't check me down. Can you whisper that? Don't check me down. Don't check me down. Give my ears a clean tonight, thought the woodcutter. No, oh, right, come on, let's get this over and done with. He lifted up the axe, swung it over his shoulder. Yeah! But this time, the tree was louder. Don't chop me down. Can you sing that with me? A big, low, strong voice. Don't chop me down. Three hundred years I've been around. Let's sing that together. Don't chop me down. Three hundred years I've been around. I know you're an old tree, thought the woodcutter, but... I really want my supper. And he swung the axe again. And anyway, my, my wife, she says I've got... Your wife says chop down the silly old tree. Do you know how many creatures are living in me? Don't chop me down. What kind of creatures were living in the old tree? Woodcutter had a look. <laughs> Just then the squirrel scampered up the bark. <laughs> and nestled between the branches, hidden away by the needles. <whistles> was a nest. He knew it well because he heard the birds in the morning when he woke up. What other animals lived in that tree? What about between the roots? Along the branches? I'm sorry, tree. I'm sorry to all of the creatures. I. It's not my idea to chop you down, I, I, sorry. He swung his axe again. Would you swing the axe? Would you chop down the tree if you were the woodcutter? If you don't chop me down, I'll give you three wishes. Uh -huh. Sing it with me. If you don't chop me down, I'll give you three wishes. Did you say wishes? Wishes. <laughs> my wife likes to wish. She's always... My wife? Should she like that? I, I, I'll go and tell her right now. Wife! 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 Good news! Did you chop the tree down? Um, wait, listen. If we don't chop it down, the tree, it's magic. It's going to give us three wishes. Yes, actually, wishes. Wait, what do you mean you don't believe me? What? Look, watch this. I wish I could have a delicious sausage right now. Boing! delicious.
delicious sausage the woodcutter had ever smelled. Oh, get a load of this. Oh, fantastic. Oh, come on, let's eat it. But his wife wasn't smiling. His wife wasn't sniffing the sausage and getting all dribbly. You had a wish, she said. And you wasted it on a sausage. Sausage will jump up and stick itself on the end of your nose, boy. She wished it. Of course, that's exactly what the sausage did. Oh, I, I, I've got a sausage on the end of my nose, said the woodcutter. I'll just um. Oh, it smells so good. I just want to eat it. He couldn't reach it. Oh, can you just pull it off? Can you just eat? Ooh. I'll pull it off for you. Ow, you're hurting me. Ow, 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 ow. And she chased him all around the kitchen, pulling him by the nose. Ow, 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 ow. And they pulled, 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 and they <laughs> Into a heap. <laughs> and even the wife was laughing. You got a sausage on the end of your nose. <laughs> you look so funny. <laughs> um, no, um, will, will you love me now? I'm sausage and <laughs> only one thing left to wish. They held hands and they said, we wish the sausage would come off the end of the nose and fall onto the plate so we could eat it for our supper. Boing! And that's exactly what the sausage did. And you probably know, but Oh, the woodcutter and woodcutter's wife had the most delicious sausage for their supper. Mm, mm, I tasted it. That's fantastic. Mm, mm, got a ketchup. Oh, thanks. Oh, mm, um. It was the best sausage they had ever, ever tasted. So good. But when they were done, the tree somehow looked more beautiful. And you know, the woodcutter's wife stopped being so fussy about the needles. She got on with planting some vegetables and in the summer she collected the pine cones. And guess what she found inside them? Pine nuts. They're delicious. Mmm. And they would guzzle them a lovely wood fire and sometimes make them into cakes and biscuits. And that, my friends, was the end of the story. By the way, you'll know the old couple because if ever you come across a cottage in the middle of the forest with a lovely hammock spread between two branches. You'll know that belongs to the woodcutter and his wife. Bye-bye. Good listening. <laughs>